So quick video today, we have a BMS by PWOD. I've never heard of this company before. I saw it on AliExpress and it's super cheap and it has a temp sensor and supposedly low temperature charging protection. This took about a month for me to get it because of the coronavirus shipment delays, but I finally have it and I have a 48 volt model or a 16S and I have an 8S over here or a 24 volt model and I have eight cells in series. So we're gonna see if it actually works. This one's rated for 50 amps and this one's rated for 30 amps. Typically because of the FETs and these cheap BMSs, you wanna derate this. So even though this is a 30 amp, I would not push more than 15 amps through it continuously. And it looks like the same quality as a DALI BMS, but there is no conformal coating on the PCB. So it might be more cheaply made than a DALI. I like DALI, it's just such a bummer about the low temp charging protection. For people that don't need it though, you don't have to watch this video at all. Just buy a cheap DALI and you'll be fine. If you're in the tropics, you don't have to worry about this. So right now we have an 8S configuration with the BMS connected and this output is live. So now we're gonna charge this battery pack with a power supply at 29 volts and then stick the temperature sensor in ice cold salt water and see what happens to the current. Guess what? <laughs> wow, an AliExpress product that doesn't work as advertised? I can't believe it. Time to start my 10th dispute on AliExpress this month. <laughs> yeah, guys, this isn't working. This isn't good. What a bummer. I thought we found a good one. It seemed listed correctly and it had some really pretty pictures too, but I guess not. This is at 17.6 degrees Fahrenheit. I, it should trigger it. So yeah, guys, this isn't working. This is just as good as a DALI. It has a temperature sensor and it's not working for low temp cutoff. It probably works for high temp cutoff, but the ad specifically stated low temp charging protection, but it does not work. What a bummer. So I'm not gonna test out the 48 volt one in my solar shed. I thought that was gonna be a great fun video but I guess not because this probably doesn't work either. And if this one doesn't work and this one did work, then I couldn't recommend it anyways because their quality control is junk. So yeah, don't buy this. Why can't they just make things that work? Like why is this temp sensor here? Really an over temperature protection on the cell? I understand on the FETs, but on the cell, really? Let's look over the wiring one last time. This looks pretty straightforward. Yeah, it should disconnect. Let's try it one more time. Like this is such a simple test and so many BMSs fail at it. What I'm thinking about doing is recommending a solar charge controller with its own manual low temperature charging protection because a lot of BMSs, even in the new batteries, fail to have this protection feature for whatever reason. Some of my viewers commented that some of these temperature sensors are not that accurate and the manufacturing tolerances are not that great. So that could be the actual problem here. But yeah, this is unacceptable. This is a big bummer. If you're in a tropical environment, you could buy this, but I would get a DALI instead because it has conformal coating and it's probably higher quality than this, but dang, what a bummer. Oh well. So AliExpress has let me down once again, but I have the Chargery and the Electrodocus BMS coming and I'm gonna hook that up to some fortune cells in a video coming up very soon. So I can't wait to show you this. I'm glad I didn't hook this up in the solar shed because I would feel like a huge idiot connecting all of these wires when I have to do an AliExpress dispute. So yeah, I'm gonna send these back and hopefully the next battery management systems will actually work. Also the Ant BMS, which I did in a previous video, I really like that thing. It's super cheap and it hasn't caused me any problems. It's a pain in the butt to set up, but so far it's a pretty good little system. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later, bye.